It's Jenna from Second Air Promised Land here to show you my sixth yard sale haul of 2017. This haul is from the first two weekends of September. I can't believe we're in September already. That just means that there's going to be less and less yard sales. And I don't know what I'm going to do throughout the winter without them. So there better be some estate sales or something. Fingers crossed because I'm going to go crazy until April or May when they come out again. Luckily, the first weekend of September was the long weekend, so there were a few yard sales out last weekend. There wasn't as many, so I ended up getting a lot of little items, but I'm still pretty excited with what I did get. The first item that I got was the first item that I saw, the first yard sale of the Labor Day weekend. These babies! These are galvanized bins and they have these cute little handles. Brand new. I only paid $2 for them and I'm really excited to use these for storage either in my bathroom or somewhere else in the house but I just thought they're really cute and they're actually really good quality. So I thought for $2 that was a really good deal. Next item. I got these dish towel hanger and it's got some really cute roosters on it. I only paid a dollar for this and I think it would look adorable in the kitchen. The next item, my friend has been asking me to look out for cabin or cottage themed items or camp themed items uh, to decorate her, her uh, man cave for her husband. I found this cute little sign and I only paid 50 cents for it. I just thought it was really, really adorable. And she is going to love this. And I think the colors work perfectly for the man cave she's building for her husband. Next item is really, really tiny. I got this cute little antique style bicycle and this surprisingly was in the free bin. I thought it was super cute. I love the details on the wheels and it's even got the pedals. And this item is gonna go on a set of bookshelves in my family room. I just thought it was cute and for free, that's a good deal. I love free, if you can't already tell. Next item I bought for my brother. It's a guitar pizza cutter. Now my brother has been playing guitar for as long as that I can remember. Um, and he plays the bass guitar. So when I saw this, I had to buy it for him. I just thought it was adorable. And I bought this item and two other smaller items and they only charged me $2. So I'm going to be, I guess I probably paid like a dollar for this and retail it was $12.95. So hopefully he loves this because he's getting it anyways. I just thought it was really cute. And then the two other items that I got with it were these cute little stars. And they've got hooks at the top so they can either go on the wall but what i'm thinking is i'm going to put these on my christmas tree because i just love the color of them and i think it will go with my other ornaments so these i'm going to say 50 cents each and then i also got this cute little plastic crown and it's it also has a string at the top, so I'm wondering if maybe I'm going to put it on my Christmas tree. I know it's not very Christmassy, but I thought it was really cute. Or I might make some kind of wall art out of it. I'm not really sure, but I only paid 25 cents for it, so I just thought it was really cute. And with whatever I end up doing with it, that's a good deal. Next items. I got some more milk glass, surprise, surprise. I got this hobnail vase. 
at one yard sale and I paid a dollar for it. And then I got another vase at another yard sale. This one, and it's, I've never seen this pattern before. I thought that, that was really neat. So this one, they only wanted five cents for, which is a really good deal because I would have paid more for it, absolutely. Um, and then these two are going to be added to my mom's milk glass collection. She's gonna be needing a cabinet soon for these because I just keep finding them. So, really excited to find these, and my mom loves them. Next item, I got this really cute purple dish. I just love the detail on it, and it's got these cute little feet. I only paid $2 for it. I love the purple color. This, I'm either going to put in my bathroom, or... Maybe my bedroom, or maybe on my family, or in my family room on the bookshelves. I don't really know yet, but I just thought it was really cute. I think it's gonna go well with my other decor. Next items, a bit of nostalgia from my childhood. I was obsessed with the Ninja Turtles when I was little, and so was my brother. And I'm, I can't remember the year that they came out, but this DVD. I used to have the VHS version, and I loved it. It was one of my favorite movies. So when I saw these on DVD on Amazon, I was thinking about buying them, but I really didn't want to pay the retail price. So it just kind of didn't happen. And then I saw these. This is the first one. The second one. And the third one. All at a yard sale. I paid a dollar a piece. And why anyone would get rid of these, I have no idea because I absolutely love these movies. I mean, Secret of the Ooze. I'm so excited to rewatch these because I haven't seen them in years. And winter is coming, so I'm gonna save those, and hopefully these can make winter a little less bleak for me. So, really excited. Memories! The next item that I got is actually nostalgia for my mom from her childhood. I got this set of cute little pink poodles. And they've got the little chain attached. A few months back, my mom was telling me that my grandma bought her some pink poodles for Christmas one year when she was little, and um, she really regretted getting rid of them. So I saw her looking at them on Etsy and on eBay, and some of them were really well priced, but um, others were expensive. But really, the most expensive part was the shipping, because shipping was at least $25 just for these little items. So when I saw this last weekend at a yard sale for $5, I jumped on the chance. My mom's birthday is coming up in about a month, so I'm gonna save these for her for then, and I can't wait to see her face when she opens it up. I think she's just gonna love them. So that was probably my favorite find of the last two weekends. Next item, I also got to give somebody. I got this cute rodeo sign. And at the top it says Triple R Ranch. And that's the name of the ranch that I volunteer at. So when I found this at a yard sale, I was super excited. It's brand new, it's never been used, and it came in the package. I asked the guy how much, he said $2, and I just couldn't pass it up. So I'm going to be giving this to my friend who owns the Triple R Ranch, and I think, I hope she's going to love it. I just thought it was super adorable. And how perfect. Next item. can't remember if it was a week or two ago that I showed you the, those beautiful amber turkeys. 
after that, I was super excited just to get decorating for fall already. So when I found this last weekend, I was really excited. If you guys can see, it's a turkey platter. And I've seen these on eBay, and I think they were fairly expensive. And even if they were recently, like, reasonably priced, they're really, really heavy, so shipping, again, is a bit of a factor. So when I found this and she only wanted a dollar for it, I jumped at that chance. <laughs> I'm so excited to start decorating for fall. I can't wait. I honestly, I'm gonna start decorating before October. For a dollar, really, really, really happy about that purchase. The last item that I got was this, if you guys can see. I believe that it's a trellis or it's made for being lawn art because it has these stakes in the bottom at each side. And it doesn't look like it's ever been used outside. So when I found this, because I am obsessed with church windows. I love them and it just looks like a church window to me. This was only a dollar so I grabbed it and ran. Um, and what I actually have planned for this is the stakes are only screwed on to the side. So I'm going to unscrew the stakes and I'm going to put this on my wall in my family room and put it as an item on my gallery wall and I think it's just gonna look really really adorable and I can't believe I only paid a dollar for this I can't wait to see how it turns out so anyways guys that's my haul for the first half of 2017 or 2017 first half of September 2017 um Unfortunately, it wasn't a lot. I'm sorry. I tried. It was just really, really cold last weekend. Nobody wanted to go out. But um, I'm really excited what I did get. And I can't wait to start decorating the house with them. And give the presents to my friends and see how they like them. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, the next two weekends are going to be sunny and there's going to be a few yard sales because I I don't know what I'm going to do without going out yard sailing. So again guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your likes, comments, all your subscribing. I honestly, I, I didn't think anyone would watch. <laughs> so I am really happy with all of your comments and everything so thank you so much for watching hopefully I will be back next week for another haul I'll see you guys later bye